admin tasks are one of the usually basic tasks that someone delegates to an assistant anyway. And these are just a lot of different examples of tasks that I've given to my own assistant and a lot of my clients in 2XU have given to their assistants. Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now my goal set at this video is to walk you through what are the common admin tasks that a virtual assistant can do for you. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Lian Lai Lakaba. I've been working from home since I was 15 years old and now run my own virtual assistant company here in the Philippines. And I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, if you're currently trying to hire for a virtual assistant or you already have a virtual assistant, you might be wondering what are the different tasks that you can start delegating to them or having them start to do in your business. Now, admin tasks are one of the usually basic tasks that someone delegates to an assistant anyway. And these are just a lot of different examples of tasks that I've given to my own assistant and a lot of my clients in 2XU have given to their assistants. The first one is email management. Now, I talked about email management a lot on this channel just because it is one of the ways that an assistant can really help you because they're filtering input. They are filtering the emails that will come to you that you will look at and they will also flag the ones that are going to be important for you. Email management is basically just a way for them to clean, respond, and do things that are in your inbox to make sure that, again, you only see the things that you're supposed to be seeing. It could be unsubscribing from emails you didn't want to see anyway. They could be following up with possible clients that you have or just, again, prompting you to see what kind of emails you need to be able to see or to do something about. Next is calendar management. Calendar management is basically either that they're sending out calendar invites on your behalf. They could be flagging calendar invites that are either really important for you to make sure that you do, or it could be calendar invites that you might want to skip or asking them to reschedule. It could also be managing your time, whether it's making sure that you have a break in between meetings, or it could be making sure that if you have an in-person event that you actually have the time slotted for it. It could also be moving things around for you as your own priorities change. Your assistant can keep an eye out on the things that Again, you can skip, it's important for you to go. And of course, blocking out time for you to be able to work. The third admin task that you can easily give is file management. This is something that depending on your business can get really out of hand really fast. So for example, within 2XU, we have a ton of training for our virtual assistants. These are books, these are courses, these are audiobooks, these are podcasts, and it's a lot of different files. So a lot of what my virtual assistant started to do once the business started ramping up is to manage all of the those files so it makes sense it's easy for me to find certain training or a certain book that I want to give an assistant and it can be the same for you and your business again depending on your business it could be managing your inventory or managing the physical digital files that you might have it could be making sure that the important and secure files are in the right place another admin task that you can give to an assistant is lead generation so lead generation is basically being able to reach out to possible people who would be interested in your business this could be doing cold emails so creating a database basically of emails for them to reach out of people who could be interested in your services. It could be looking for different platforms that you can start creating content in or being interactive in to bring in more leads. Could also just be basic data entry where they grab information from other people for you to reach out later. Another task that you can give them is travel management. Now travel management is simply just making sure that you have your transportation, accommodation, and anything else that you would need when you're going on a trip. For example, for a lot of our own clients to XU, they have something called a travel packet. In other words, the assistant gives them just a Dock where everything is at for their trip, including their airline tickets, where they're staying, a Google Maps of just pinned versions of where they should be going. If they're going to a conference, it already includes the tickets that they would need to see, the people they would need to meet, all organized by their virtual assistant. Another admin task that your assistant can do is records and reports management. Now, depending on the kind of business that you have, your assistant can help organize the records. It could be the records of your clients. It could be the records of milestones you've had in your business. It could be reports that other people or other systems or software has generated for you. So then it's all in one place and easy for you to access and find. Very much like file management, this is another way that they can keep up to date on where things are at in your business. This could be them actually creating a whole database where to find things or being the one to actually report to you the things that they've found, the stats or the important KPIs in your business. Another task that this can do for you is to create 
assets. What I mean by creating assets is they could be helping you create PowerPoint presentations. They could be helping you create PDF files, case studies. They could also be helping you generate based just quick checklists for yourself that can be an asset. It could be also helping create standard operating procedures, which I talk a lot in this channel, is being able to create the systems in your business so you can create repeatable results. Another task you can delegate is customer support or client support, whichever kind of business that you have. So what this means is you can delegate to them being able to reach out and chat to your customers, being the first person in line before they get to you. They could also help manage your clients throughout their journey, depending on what business you have. So they're able to, again, be that filter for you of communications before people reach you. They've already know, like, hey, assistant can actually help you with that part. And then the next part, I can help you out. It has that, again, that barrier and filter so then you only see the important things that are for you another task is onboarding so onboarding could be them onboarding your clients so they just have a checklist again this is where a standard operating procedure is going to be very important it could be them onboarding an employee in your business so they just have a step-by-step -step thing that they go through to make sure that person is ready before they actually get to meet and talk with you Another task is managing invoice and payments. So they could be the one generating and sending out the invoices for clients and customers. They could also be the one in charge of making sure that bills are paid, making sure that things are checked off in your accounts payables, and just making sure that they have an eye on someone else is looking at the things that you should be paying and getting paid for. Another admin task an assistant can do is CRM management or customer relations manager managing that software for you. So what this could mean is they're helping you keep tabs of your contacts. They're helping you keep tabs of like, hey, who did we know that who was in the software industry that I met on this specific date? They're able to have that contact list ready for you so then you can access it whenever you do need it. They can also help remember like, hey, didn't we know this one person who, who can help us out in this specific area? Basically, your assistant becomes your second brain in that end of helping you remember certain people. Another admin task an assistant could do is project management. And I've talked about this also here on my channel. You can just search project management as well, but they can help manage manage projects from start to finish and then make sure that they are documented along throughout the process, you know, following up the people that you work with, following up with possible clients and so on and so forth. Again, depending on your business. Another admin task is just research, being able to give you the data that you need to create basically a decision to move forward. This could be researching on who are your competitors, who is your market, doing research on the software that you really want to try out. It could be doing research on what else could you guys be doing better in the business. These are one of the things that can become invaluable in your business is developing that research skill within your assistant so they can be quick about being resourceful when you need it. And lastly, one of the biggest admin tasks that a lot of people actually don't realize that they can give to an assistant is just being your personal assistant. So what I mean by this is things from your groceries, they can order online for you. Your coffee, they can make sure it gets delivered to you. Being able to get a car service as you need it. Again, this can be something that they can do for you. Researching places where you can get things printed, where you can get you know a babysitter, them doing that research for you, even if they're not really physically there on where you're at, they can start doing a lot of the digital work that can be done by a personal assistant. Again, this is a system that a lot of people forget that actually can be done, especially after the last two years where everything is now accessible online and this thing can do for you. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what other admin tasks have you had an assistant do. And if you still haven't, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. Now, if you guys have an awesome day, remember that small steps matters, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!